Hi everyone, today I am going to be reviewing a foundation that is pretty new to the market, brand brand new to me, um, and that is the Hourglass Seamless Finish Foundation Stick. So this is the little box that comes in. This is available at Sephora for $46. I have the little thing pulled up. It's supposed to be a full coverage foundation, waterproof, um, long lasting, 12 hour coverage, um, just general, oh wait, hold on, it says something. Intense concentration allows full coverage while maintaining a weightless feel. So, that's what it says. That's the claims it makes on Sephora.com. And it is $46. I don't think I said that. So, it is a rather hefty price tag. As far as the packaging, it's absolutely beautiful. What do you expect from Hourglass? It's this nice, kind of a rosy bronze shade of metal. It is a mirrored packaging, so it probably will be pretty bad about picking up fingerprints. It says Hourglass right there. Um, I have the shade Vanilla, which is actually a pretty, pretty perfect match for me. It is a triangle foundation, so you can see you just screw it up like a lipstick and it comes on out. I um, have had a couple of stick foundations. I have been using the Clinique, what's it called? Chubby in the Nude Foundation Stick for quite a while. Oops. My lid broke, which is the only bad thing. And I really like this. Um, for those of you who do not know, I do have drier skin, but I do live in Sedata, Georgia. It is September 21st today, so it's still hot. So, I mean, I sweat a lot. Um, I'm a very naturally hot-natured person anyway, so having it be in Savannah and be hot, um, I think I put the foundation to the test pretty well, even though I do have dry skin. So I kind of have the best of both worlds. I don't get oily, but I get sweaty, if that makes sense. Um, again, I have the shade Vanilla. For me, it's an absolutely perfect shade match. It might be slightly light right now, um, but I am... Uh, a little more tan than I usually am because it has been the summer and I've been on the boat a lot. I'm a marine biologist. So there's been a lot of that. Now, as far as coverage wise, I think it does a really, really nice job. I'm just gonna, I've only had it on for a couple of hours and today is my first day using it. So I do wanna make that little caveat. This is definitely a first impression. Um, my sweat is hardcore breaking through it. And when I say breaking through, I mean it's coming through, but then if you try to dab it away, you're dabbing away the product. So it doesn't hold up very well, at least with sweat. Again, I'm not oily, so I can't really speak to that. But as far as sweat, I don't think this holds up very well, which is strange because it says it is a long-lasting 12-hour coverage foundation. As far as the weightless claim, I do feel like it's weightless. I don't feel like I have a lot of foundation on, and I think the coverage is beautiful. I think it looks really nice. I don't think it looks like I have on any makeup. Well, I mean, it does look like I have on makeup. Hello. I have like a black and purple spotlight eye thing going on. So it does look like I have on makeup, but as far as face makeup, you can't really tell. Um, it looks like it may be clinging a little bit to my drier sides. Now, I don't have any really hefty dry patches right now um, because it is the summer. Now, come winter, we'll see how that works. But it does seem to be pretty good. Yeah, I mean, like, sometimes, because I, I usually get dry right around my mouth, and I don't see any really dry patches. You do see the sweat that is just coming on through. So, I think if you have oily skin, I don't know. I mean, I know I've seen a lot of people say that they love this, but for sweat, at least, it doesn't hold up. So, if you live in a hot climate, I don't know about all this. It is so pretty, though. Really, really, really pretty on. I like it. I think it's very weightless. I think it's very feather light. The sweat thing kind of bothers me. We'll see what happens throughout the day. Um, I'm not going to be updating y'all because I don't know how to edit. And I know that I, I don't think it's really that hard. I know a lot of people know how to do it. Um, I'm a master's student. That's kind of takes up about 27 hours a day. So having time to learn how to edit is just not super high on my priority list right now. Hopefully I'll be able to learn soon for y'all. Um, but I won't be checking out throughout the day. But like I said, I've had it on for a few hours. It has stayed, except for when I've gotten sweaty. Um, it looks really pretty, and the match is perfect. So, all in all, I like it. Um, I can't say anything too negative about it, except for the sweatiness. Um, but if you're not a super sweaty person, then that might be good. Sorry about that, I got a phone call from my daddy. But I think it's really pretty. I think it's really, really pretty really pretty. I like it a lot. 
$46 is a heck of a lot of money to spend on a foundation. Let's just be honest. I got it. I don't think I said how I got it. Um, I have an Ipsy bag in case you don't know. I make videos every single month. I'll leave that playlist down below in case you are interested in, you know, seeing that. Um, and you get points for Ipsy by reviewing. And if any of y'all ever decide to sign up, my link is always in every single video. Um, if you sign up, I really, really appreciate it. And you get points for people signing up. And if you get a certain amount of points, you can trade in for pride, uh, like rewards. And this was an, a reward. It was a thousand points. So that's a lot of points for Ipsy, but for a $46 foundation in full size, it's a pretty good deal. Um, and I like it. I'm really happy with it. Um, we'll see what happens throughout the rest of the month. It may be in a monthly favorites if I do one. I don't know. I've been kind of eh with monthly favorites. I think the issue is I haven't been buying a lot of makeup, which is probably a good thing. Let's be honest. It's not, it's not a negative. Um, but because I haven't been buying a lot of makeup, I haven't had a lot of monthly favorites. I don't want to just throw something in a monthly favorites video just for the sake of saying, here's favorite. I mean, I want it to, to really love it. I also just got a new job as a lifeguard. Um, and you don't, I don't want my makeup to be a lifeguard because I have to swim every shift. So, I mean, that's just going to be a hot mess. So between lifeguarding, being a marine biologist on a boat, and just a lot of things with life, I haven't been wearing as much makeup, and I haven't been buying as much makeup. So, I haven't been doing a lot of monthly favorites, but I do like this so far. I think it's pretty. And I think, at the moment, when I pay $46 for it, I think I would. I mean, don't y'all think it looks pretty? And I don't think it looks like I have on makeup. And this shade match, again, one, two, I, I have vanilla, but they have a ton of shades, I think. Um, obviously, let me, let me, let's just look. Let's just look at how many shades they offer. More detail. If you see what was, okay. How many shades do they offer? Like 75? I don't see how many shades. I mean, there's a bunch. Oh, and it's all supposed to help your skin. It's supposed to improve skin. I don't know about all that. But yeah, y'all can see. Look at all these shades. So they have all of these. So that's a lot. Again, I have vanilla. Which they describe as light with a cool undertone. I think that's pretty fair for me. They have, fa they have like all undertones. So cool, neutral, and light. Cool, neutral, and warm, and fair, light, medium, and dark, and maybe even deep as well. So they have a lot. Um, I don't know. I don't know what else to say about it except for I like it and I'm happy with it. And as far as I'm concerned, I recommend this at the moment. If you have any questions, requests, suggestions, comments, any of that, please leave it down below. Talking to y'all is legitimately one of my very favorite things to do. If you want to know what's on my face, um, it's always listed down below as well as that link. Um, for my Ipsy playlist, a link if you want to sign up for Ipsy is always there. Anything else, um, and if you want to see something, just let me know. So, I'm running a little dry on ideas. Um, so, if you have anything that you're like, yo, girl, I want to see this, tell me. And maybe I'll make it. So, thank you so much, and I'll see y'all real soon. Bye.